heartbeat by putting your ear against the mother's abdomen. The fetus's heart beats about twice as fast as her mother's. Monitoring the baby's heartbeat gives a good indication of her general condition. The mother's heart rate and blood pressure are directly affected by her emotional state. If she's calm, her heart will slow down and her blood pressure will drop. In the short term, stress in the mother can lead to low birth weight or premature birth. But it's also possible that a mother's prolonged anxiety and stress can be passed on, establishing a tendency for stress in the child and making her more likely to develop chronic health problems, heart disease, diabetes as an adult. It can even have a harmful effect on the child's mental development in the early years of her life. By now, the mother will be feeling her baby move every day. Usually this will be the fetus kicking or pushing, but sometimes she may feel the regular twitch of her baby's hiccups. Hiccups are an involuntary, sudden contraction of the diaphragm. Why fetuses hiccup is a bit of a mystery. One theory says it's a reflex that may help a baby latch onto a nipple and feed. The spasm of a fetus's hiccup is strong enough to feel, but unlike our own hiccups, it makes no sound at all. The sound of an adult hiccup is made by the sudden rush of air that is stopped by the closure of our vocal cords. But of course in the fetus's lungs there is no air and so no hiccup sound. The last of the major organs to form are the lungs. The lungs don't function during the time in the womb. All the fetus's oxygen is delivered from the mother's blood via the placenta. Inside the fetus's lungs, the branching network of tubes is filled with amniotic fluid during the entire time in the womb. And the tiny air sacs that will extract oxygen from the air remain closed. But the fetus still makes breathing movements with her lungs and diaphragm. This helps the chest muscles practice, ready to expand and fill the lungs with air the moment the baby is born. Most fetuses that reach 26 weeks will make it through to birth with no further problem, putting on weight, exercising reflexes, as well as their new senses. But sometimes, things do go wrong. This 26-week-old fetus has developed a hole in his diaphragm, the membrane separating the lungs from the abdomen. Baby's facing the completely wrong position. It's not a problem now, but it means his intestines will grow into the lung cavity. This will stop the lungs developing properly, and when he is born, the baby will almost certainly be unable to breathe and will die. Professor Kipros Nicolaides is a world-renowned pioneer of fetal surgery at King's College Hospital in London. He has developed a technique to block the windpipe of the fetus with an inflatable bladder. This forces the intestines back where they belong and allows the lungs to develop properly. The procedure is done with keyhole surgery, using a fetoscope to operate on the baby inside the womb. 
A fetoscope is a long, narrow tube filled with fiber optic filaments. Light travels down one set of fibers to illuminate inside the uterus and is passed back out to a camera so the surgeon can see what he's doing. It also carries the delicate instruments to conduct the operation. The first step is to inject an anesthetic into the fetus to stop it moving. The mother is awake during the entire procedure, with only a local anesthetic to numb her. A general anesthetic would be too harmful for the baby. Professor Nicolaides then inserts the fetoscope through an incision in the mother's abdomen into the amniotic cavity. Once he has safely reached the fetus, he gently pushes the fetoscope into the mouth and down the back of the throat. So, yeah? Yes. Then we discover there. So that is the the glottis on the right. Once inside the trachea, he inflates a, a tiny balloon that traps fluid inside the lungs. As the fetus grows, the lungs produce more fluid, which stimulates the lung tissue to grow and expand, forcing the intestines out of the chest cavity. The balloon is left in place for two months to give the lungs time to mature. The procedure is then repeated and the balloon is removed in time for what everyone hopes will be a normal birth. Since this operation to treat babies with this defect has been available, it has increased their chance of survival by 50%. At 28 weeks, the baby is over two-thirds of the way through her time in the womb and is gaining weight fast as she lays down a layer of fat under her skin. Her senses are buzzing and her cerebral cortex has matured enough to support consciousness. Over the next four weeks, her nervous system will become as advanced as a newborn baby's. She is becoming aware of the world around her and for the first time her brain is beginning to create memory. No, what really screaming? The fetus will have spent so much time listening to her mother's voice she will have become familiar with its rhythms. She going to a mother and toddler group. <laughs> with this constant exposure, she will absorb enough of these patterns to recognize and even respond to her mother's voice. Oh. No, I thought she was though. Researchers analyzing the cries no, of I newborns I, found they already contained some of the rhythms and patterns of their mother's speech. Yeah, you'd be fine. You, what, you, you, what? The fetus can now hear, taste, smell, and touch. She is likely to have turned head down in the womb. She is getting ready for birth. For the mother, this change could be marked by some painful kicks straight in the ribs. The type of music a baby is exposed to can alter her mood. Fast music will stimulate and excite her. 